graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. I think it's safe to say that Sonic the Hedgehog during the 90s needs absolutely no introduction. His first four games on the Genesis were fan-fucking-tastic, and what made these games great was how fast Sonic was and how amazing the levels were, with cool graphics and music being the icing on the cake. But then there are times when Sega decides to go the experimental route with the series with games like Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, and the one I'm going to review today, Sonic Labyrinth for the Sega Game Gear. Now don't let the system it's on fool you. Sonic had some pretty good games on the Game Gear, such as the 8-bit port of Sonic 1, Sonic Chaos, and Sonic Triple Trouble. The reason why this is such an awful game is because the Sonic series simply went the wrong direction with this game. The first problem the game has lies within the story. Dr. Robotnik gave Sonic shoes that slow him down to hurt his chances of surviving the mazes. Usually story does not affect the gameplay, but the part that says Sonic wears shoes that slow him down is not a good sign at all. Sonic speed has always been a staple in the franchise, so why is taking that staple such a bad thing? Find out on today's episode of Awful Games. SEGA! Before I begin the game, I would like to point out the only positive this game has, the graphics. The graphics are really good and everything is very colorful, although there are some seizure inducing moments here and there, but overall the, the graphics are really impressive. The music however is, isn't anything special, it's forgettable at best. And, yes, Sonic continues to roll back and forth like a douchebag. The game has two ways to control Sonic, straight or slant, which is diagonally. Either way, it really doesn't matter. Neither of them enhance the game in any way, shape, or form. By the way, I love how it says good luck every time you start a level. Like, they know that you're going to suffer through this god-awful piece of shit. Anyway, here is the game. As you can see, the game shows another bad sign. It's in an isometric angle like in Sonic 3D Blast. And here's another problem. Not only is Sonic known for his speed, but he's also known for having awesome level design. With the name Labyrinth, you'd think they'd capitalize on that, but no. It ends up being a BORING SHIT FEST. So already we have three problems. A slow Sonic, an isometric angle, and boring levels. Walking slow slow in these type of environs makes the game so tedious it actually feels like a chore to play this game. You know, as bad as Sonic 3D Blast was, at least it was remotely fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mean actually fun, I meant remotely fun. That game had some cool aspects. Sonic Labyrinth just takes it to a whole new level of dog shit. I mean, my god, is this game so boring. Speaking of Sonic 3D Blast, remember how annoying the Flickies were? Well, let me introduce you to something much worse. Fucking keys! Your objective of the game is to collect all three keys in each level. They're either on the ground somewhere, or an enemy has it. And if you get hit, you drop all the keys and you have to collect them back after they are scattered everywhere, which is also annoying because you're so fucking slow! And what happens when you get hit without keys? Well, you see that timer on the top? It drops about 10 seconds every time you get hit, and you're only given about 2 minutes to complete each level. Fortunately though, there aren't too many enemies. Sometimes you'll come across these colored triangles, Red triangles make you invincible, blue triangles make you walk faster, yellow triangles increase time, pink triangles give you a 1-up, and green triangles destroy all enemies within the level. Even though these power-ups help you beat each level, they don't make the game more enjoyable. Sonic doesn't move, move that much faster with the speed up shoes, there's not a whole lot of enemies on the screen so that you don't need invincibility there. 
and you can start the game with 10 lives, which is the maximum amount. So you don't need to collect the one up unless you die constantly, which I don't think is possible very often here. So the only truly useful power up is the yellow triangle, which increases time. The only way Sonic can move really fast is by constantly spin dashing. Unfortunately, this could cause you to crash all over the fucking place and it might cause you to stop in the wrong area. And you can't even jump in this game either, so that's another problem. You know which level I can't stand the most? Labyrinth of the Factory 3-3. In this level, you look everywhere, but you can't find a way to get to the other side. You take the platforms that teleport you, but it only teleports you to the platform right next to it. So w what exactly are you supposed to do? You want to know what you got to do? You have to go down here, and you literally have to wait until a platform shows up. Now, unless you have a guide, how the fuck are you supposed to know that? This is about as bad as that tornado you have to wait for in Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Nobody without a guide is going to figure that shit out. Seriously, nobody. Come on, this is ridiculous. I mean, there are also other things like in different levels like disappearing platforms and confusing doorways. But this part here is the level I cannot stand the most. Even the boss battles suck. The game puts you through so much torture and they have the fucking nerve to make the bosses this fucking cheap, easy, and pathetic. All you gotta do is spin dash back and forth and you're done. Wow. What a piece of shit. Forget it. Even Robotic, the final boss is piss fucking easy. Come on. So anyway, we finally completed the game. And now we see Dr. Robotnik dropping his Chaos Emerald, Sonic runs away with it, and so the game is over. It's finally happy and... Wait, what? It's not perfect?! You mean you have to suffer through the game again just to get a perfect game?! No, 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 no! Fuck you, Sonic Labyrinth! Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and everything you motherfucking stand for! Fuck. You. Fuck you, Sonic Labyrinth. Fuck you. No, I'm not gonna tolerate this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Sonic Labyrinth. You, you should die, and you should burn in hell, and I don't, I don't give a shit what anyone says. Fuck you. No, 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 this is bullshit. No, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh... Hold on a second, I have a phone call. Yeah, hi. What is it? Yes, I am currently doing an awful games review of Sonic Labyrinth. What do you want? You mean there's an alternate ending to this? So that explains the whole perfect thing. So, uh, I'm not gonna go through that shit. I mean,. Is there a way to see it without, you know, playing through this piece of shit again? Oh, YouTube, of course. I can always watch it on YouTube. So, anyway, let's just see the ending. Are you kidding me? All he fucking did was reskin the platform, you... Uh, uh, fuck! Like I said before, fuck you, Sonic Labyrinth. Fuck you straight to fucking hell. I hope you die and you never fucking come back. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and die. God, I really gotta control my temper. Sorry if I lost my composure, guys. But bottom line, Sonic Labyrinth is one of the worst games of all time. It's right up there with Transformers Convo no Nazo. I don't give a flying fuck what anyone says. I don't care. Sonic Labyrinth is a gigantic pile of horseshit, dog shit, vomit, all of those shits combined. And it should be buried forever. 
Whoever made this game looked exactly like this. That's right. Sega, let that sink into your heads. This is how you were when you made this awful game. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. And nobody will forgive you for it. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's ATRX, AliRX here, and I'm going to do another live stream again because I'm feeling generous. That's right, another AliRX live will be on Sunday, April 8th at 7.30pm Eastern Time, or Eastern Daylight Time specifically. You know, it's Daylight Savings, whatever, but it doesn't matter, it's Eastern Time. And it will be again on Ustream.tv slash channel slash AliRx and I know what you're probably thinking dude where, where are you on crack you you had you stream last time and it didn't work reason why it didn't work out because it wasn't completely planned out and because it was on a Saturday and I just came home from outside and you know I, I, I chose live stream because of Sang XD 44 and he said he wasn't gonna do a live stream last Sunday no, I mean the Sunday before, which was bef the day after the live stream. And, uh, but this time I will do it on a Sunday. And also, later tonight I'm going to be testing out, um, Ustream again. You know, I will be, te not only will I be testing it to get it correctly, but, um, I will also be testing out, you know, t the ability to capture sound from my game console since I now have the program to do so and I have the full version before it was a trial version now I have the full version and uh, I hope it works and and um, j just so you know but the real stream is on Sunday uh, April 8th at 730 Eastern so uh, be there and I will see you soon